Hey guys, uh, this is Icarus. Um, it's April 13th. It is the day of the Nike On Air Collection drop. And I wanted to give a, a little update on EVE AIO. I've been a little bit hard on EVE, I, Eve AIO, and I think it's just part of their frustration of... Um, I haven't been doing very well, but um, I took the time, and today with uh, TSMNY still having uh, stock, I've been doing some tests, and I've been able to recreate some airs. And um, <clears throat> it's a little a little weird um, with the clays. I had some errors, and I was given some suggestions, and yeah, it's just I don't know. Um, but what I do want to show is, um, as I've been playing around with the environment, I've been able to recreate some errors, and I think they're important lessons to know. So if you encounter it during the drop, you know what potentially could have happened, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, step right at the end um, that is a built-in bypass that EVIO is providing um, in case things shit hit the fan. Um, how do you get around that? So we're going to take advantage today and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually walk through some buildings of some tasks that actually fail. I'm going to run them in front of you and then we're going to look at um, why they failed. So um, this video might be a little bit long but I think it'll be worth it. So we're going to take advantage of this. So um, the New York City Air Max is still available. And we're going to create a task. And we're going to call this test one. And we're going to go to our testing profile that we have here. Um, I'm going to do test. I'm going to select my cookie profile. And I'm going to put local IP here. Put a direct link. And I'm going to run. All right, this is taking a long time. I don't know why. I wonder if the site's that slow. So let's play it long. Yeah, the site's just that slow, right? So here it is. See how long this is taking? So let's not blame it on the let's not blame it on eBay. I, uh, I'm running I'm running side by side and you can see how slow it's going. So we're gonna hit bicycles, bicycles, bicycles. That stupid song, bicycles. I don't think it's bicycles. Alright. So check out unsuccessful. Well, why? Why is check out unsuccessful? Well, there's one mistake that I did. There's actually two mistakes in this, but I'm going to point out the first one. The first one is is that oh look how okay, so this how this is how slow the site is. But anyways, so legacy mode was on by default. I don't know why legacy mode is checking on by default for me. Um, make sure that. When you're setting up tasks, you have some that are legacy mode and some that are not. So we're going to create a new task. We're going to stop this, and we're going to we're going to create. So we're going to do test two. We're going to do profile. We're going to go ahead and test, and we're going to do cookie, local IP. We're going to hit this direct link here, and um, we're going to take legacy mode off. And we're going to run. So we're going to run, waiting for session, add to cart. This was a little bit quicker. Submitting shipping. It's just sitting there. And this is just because the site is being overwhelmed, right? So if I go to proceed to check out, you know, it's, this is just taking a long time. Billing error. All right, so I'm going to stop this. And let's go to our log. Refresh. And let's find the error message. Cannot perform runtime binding on a null reference. So what happened here? For some reason, when you go to edit, if you choose other, it seems to fail. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new session here. 
add to task. We're going to say test3. We're going to do test. We're going to go cookie, local IP. We're going to go e flash US. Pick our shipping. Put our link in. Legacy mode is off. And now we're going to give this a whirl. There's our capture. Let's find some mountain and hills. Yuli hee hoo! There we go. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Alright, we're on mountain and billing area. Payment decline. Fantastic. That is what we, what we wanted to see. Right? We wanted to see that payment decline. So, I was able to f show you two common errors. One of them is checkout successful, unsuccessful. The other one was um, unable to perform billing. And then a proper uh, checkout, a proper decline, which means that everything was sent out right. So let's say you're running this, and it, now, now I'm going to show you the, the saving grace and something cool that EVAIO did. Um, I think I think it, I want to give credit to Tarak because some suggestions were put in the link, and he listened. And I think this is really cool. So uh, we got a we got. Let's go here. So checkout unsuccessful, but look at this checkout URL. You can take this link, and you can just take it here. So this was a uh, size 95, but we're going to do this. This should be, I don't remember what size this was supposed to be. What size is this grab? I don't remember what it was. All right, so we're going to go here. Uh, I grabbed it from, it was a size 5, right? So the other one was a 9.5. This new one's a 5. So it was able to, you're able to then grab this checkout link when your job fails, copy it quickly, paste it here, and bam, you're in. All right? That's kind of cool. Um, each one of these has this checkout link. Just check out URL. So this was a size 9. If I click here, size 9. The, this was 9. It may have re-grabbed the 9.5. Yeah, because this is a different checkout URL. So, right. this is the site being slow. So, EVIO isn't always slow, and bots in general, you'll think they're slow. They're like, well, why is it slow? There's nobody hitting it. It's 10:30 at night, and the site is slow. It's just random. All right, and here comes the checkout. So while that's going, you can go to this next one, and there's a checkout link. And you can keep hitting these. And what, the nice thing is this will bypass the queue. So if there's a queue, it'll go right around it. So let's pick a, uh, let's pick a new Chrome browser. Oh, I did not like that. Oh, okay. So let's go to cart. Oh, let's go back to, to the shop. I'm going to pick this item, six, and hit buy. And instead of hitting proceed to checkout, I go to this. It's going to size six, and it'll do the bypass key for you. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Um, and just me clicking around and uh, all right uh, remember make sure you do your tasks right um, why the error messages so a checkout unsuccessful could be your legacy mode a null checkout something like that could be that you didn't actually choose a site um, you could have issues picking your proxies and uh, if not, if it fails, you can always go manually, grab your checkout URL, and check out quickly by bypassing the queue. All right. I hope this helped. See you guys.